uh, and this is our joint statement genocide underway in Kenya genocide underway in Kenya we meet here at a very sad and traumatizing circumstances a state sanctioned genocide is underway in Luolad particularly in Kisumu Migori and Homabe a similar atrocity is also underway in parts of Nairobi including Kibla and Madhari. In Kisumu, people are being pulled out of their houses and shot or crowbarred to death by police officers. In Migori and parts of Homabi, police are going into villages away from towns and shooting or crowbarring people to death. All the elements of the making of a genocide are present in the developments in Luarad. Victims are being dehumanized. There, there is organization. The attacks taking place are clearly planned. The people undertaking the destruction of the rules are clearly trained. Whether they are police officers or goons. They are under a command structure and they are well resourced with arms they need. There is stigmatization and polarization accompanied by propaganda that the community is behind the nationwide protests. There is preparation with, perpetra with perpetrators knowing when to attack, which area, and they are using what appears to be the adopted slogan of dealing with Luo once and for all. Very similar to Hitra's so-called final solution. The attackers are working hard to create fear in the community by parading armies, equipment and weapons. Victims are identified because of their ethnicity. They are segregated into ghettos. They are being starved and their property destroyed or scattered away. Murders are taking place in ways that are deliberate and systematic campaign of violence. This crackdown has been concentrated in slums and other low-income areas of the county where the so-called hustlers, in whose name the interests the Kenya Kwanzaa regime claims to govern. We condemn the unacceptable and illegal massacre of the rural community, whose only crime is to participate alongside other Kenyans in protests against Kenya Kwanzaa policies. We condemn and demand an immediate aid to the traumatization and profiling of the Luo community, particularly the children who are being made to pay a price they do not understand. The genocide underway in Luolad is not accidental. It is coordinated and premeditated. It is being coordinated by political and government leaders, both from the community and outside. But it is not just in Nyanza. In Madhare and Kibla in Nairobi, citizens were traumatized and tear gas canisters locked in their houses. A father who confronted police for hurrying tear gas into his house causing his child to faint was manhandled and battled into the police lolly like a criminal. His whereabouts remain unknown. Several people were shot dead at Cruz Ridge by non-uniformed and uniformed police in Nairobi, Nakuru, Mulolongo and Makweni by police mainly in Praying crows shot and skewed citizens shot and killed citizens, a majority of whom were going about their daily business, and others light at their places of work. Similar executions have occurred in Kisi, Busia, and Kericho, and elsewhere in Kenya, all in the name of stopping citizens exercise to exercise their constitutional right hold peaceful demonstrations. 
much as Ruto tries to depict as mere demonstrators as violent, it is evidently clear that our demonstrations are peaceful. And it is the police who import violence and use of excessive force into them. We remind all that whenever as mere hold larries and or demonstrations without police interference, they aid peacefully without violence or destructions. The decision by police command to force without to aid peacefully without violence or destructions. No, sorry. The decision by police command to force access to homes is sharply and unnecessarily escalating tensions and costing lives. Inspector General of Police, Mr. Jaffet Kome, and CS Interior, Professor Kithure Kidiki, must immediately withdraw police officers from people's homes and residential areas, especially now that there are no demonstrations. The developments in Nyansa take place against other equally worrying actions by the state. Both police and hard goons are trailing, arresting, and shooting people from vehicles with foreign number plates. In the three-day demonstrations that ended last Friday,